Hello, my name is Caitlin Reyes. I'm a dietetic intern here at Lamar University. In this video, we're going to be going over how to properly thaw frozen foods, specifically meats, fish, and poultry. So there are three ways that we can safely defrost foods, which are going to be in the refrigerator, in the microwave, and in cold water. So when planning to use the refrigerator to thaw your meat, fish, and poultry, keep in mind that it may take quite a bit of time. So always plan ahead and try to put that food in the refrigerator at least a day before it's intended use. Always remember to place that food item either in a dish or on a plate at the bottom of the fridge to prevent any juices from leaking out and contaminating other foods. When planning to use a microwave to thaw out your meat, fish, or poultry, always remove the item from its package and place it in a microwave safe container. Your microwave should have a defrost button where you can enter the weight of the product that you have and it'll set it for an appropriate amount of time. Always be sure to cook your food immediately after you defrosted it in the microwave. The third and final way that you can defrost your meat, fish, or poultry is to submerge it in cold water. It takes less time than using a refrigerator, but it does require a little bit of extra work. Before submerging in cold water, place your item in a watertight bag or container. Thawing will usually take a couple of hours, but it really just depends on the weight of the food that you are trying to defrost. To prevent bacteria from growing, make sure you're changing the water every 30 minutes and cook immediately after it's defrosted. If you're pressed for time or don't have access to a microwave, you can cook foods frozen. Just keep in mind that cooking time will go up about 50%.